Thank you very much for this uh, nice and interesting uh, introduction. Definitely transforming in the digital eco space is a real challenge for Allianz and therefore I think it's a good stage for us to share some thoughts how we want to master this uh, digital challenge and this transformation challenge and how digital partners can play an important role to help Allianz, and Allianz, as mentioned before, is not a small company, has a quite long tradition. This year we are celebrating the 125th uh, anniversary of, of this group, so therefore you can imagine that change, digital change, is definitely a real challenge for us. Why is that so important for us? First, I think you are all aware of this Internet of Things, and what we see there is a development that is really affecting as well our value chain or our customer journey, if you want. What we see, and I have chosen here the example of motor or the car, that this is a development that the customers or the industry, what you want, are embedding their assets, their values, in certain ecosystems, what we call ecosystems. These are, take the example of the car. This car is transformed, or was, is, is now already transformed into a smart car. And this smart car is, of course, connected to certain platforms. We call it internally service platforms. And with that, we see developing, or we see the development of a so-called ecosystem, a digital ecosystem, or what we call car ecosystem. And that is not only valid for the car, I think this is a very uh, known story. It's valid for the house, for the home, it's valid for the life, and it's valid as well not only in the retail business, it's also valid in the commercial business. Just think about small enterprises, middle enterprises, and the huge and the large enterprises, uh, all the huge contribution, the digital development can uh, contribute there. And this Internet of Things, establishing digital ecosystems, that has a quite huge impact for an insurance company. Why? Because you could read that in a different way. You can also read that in a way, what is important for the customer, the car, interesting enough, the person, their house, their life, their health, the enterprise is embedded into this uh, uh, ecosystem. And there the customer, the consumer wants to use this asset in a better way and of course to manage that in a better way, whatever better means. And that is quite the same what we are doing since 125 years. We are professionals in terms of asset management. We take care of the assets of our customers. We protect the car, we protect the home, we protect the life, at least financially. And of course, we protect also the value chains and the production of, of the enterprises. So therefore, the influence of the digital development to the insurance industry is of utmost relevance. So therefore, we can never underestimate how digital will change our business model. And that's the reason why it's so important that we really take this challenge and really transform our existing companies. Just some numbers to illustrate that. If we do nothing, we just look at our portfolios and the customer relations that we have, then we see that by 2020, at the latest, we will see 10 million cars in our portfolio. We will see above 60 million customers inside our portfolio using connected devices to support their houses, their home, whatever. And we, have more than, we will have more than 40 million customers, consumers using devices to support, to assist uh, their help, their health, their person, their life. And that's only a, a first glance 
what will be there. I have not mentioned the numbers in terms of enterprises and so on, and you can imagine that we will see there exactly the same development. So, what uh, do we now, uh, what do we want to achieve in this, in this space? How do we want uh, to react? If you take the business model of a traditional insurance company, and I mentioned that it's more or less managing the assets, doing risk management, and then protecting value to our customers. Then it's often uh, associated with claims management, because you buy, to a certain extent, a contract protecting your home, protecting your life, protecting your health, helping to protect your car. And long time, nothing happens, and then at a certain stage there, is a claim or there's a, a damage, and then our job is to manage a lot. And that is a huge problem because we don't have a lot of interaction with our customers. So, therefore, insurance companies, Allianz as well, are not known for customer intimacy. So, therefore, we have definitely a huge problem, especially in this digital world where interaction, communication is of utmost importance. So, this digital development, this digital revolution will, uh, allows us to change this old paradigm completely. And I think this is not only a threat, it's thus a huge opportunity because this problem of frequency we can overcome with what we call with this partner of life. How do we want to do that? We are providing, as I mentioned before, asset management and risk management. How do we do that? We are combining this asset management, this risk management in so-called insurance components and service components. We are providing definitely service components uh, to our customers. With digital, it's possible for us to provide these service components supporting the daily life be it at home, be it driving the car, providing mobility, providing uh, uh, support for the enterprises, supporting the health, the well-being, and so on. So therefore, we have now the possibility to really connect in a real, uh, connect more often, and so increase the frequency of the communication. So I think one of the deep structural challenges of the insurance model can be uh, can be solved. And the second uh, uh, item I was, sec second aspect I wanted to mention is the following. I like really to work for an insurance company because the product, the service insurance companies are providing to consumers are really important. They are really adding value to the life of uh, the customers. And we, but a lot of these customers in the past could not afford these services because to bring these, cust to these services and uh, insurance components to the customers costs a lot of money. That's the question how to sell that. And secondly, it's also very, cost and very exp costly and very expensive to provide and afterwards the service to the customers. And with the digital uh, development, we can overcome this challenge or this problem. We have now the unique opportunity to provide our services and in these services encapsulated the insurance components to a lot of customers much more than today. And I think that is the real challenging and the real attractive position and the attractive value proposition that we are now developing inside Allianz together with all the employees, with all the stakeholders, from the internal ones to the distribution partners. How do we want to implement that? And I think that is also very uh, important to answer this question because, as mentioned before, this is a long-standing enterprise, it's a lot of tradition, a lot of uh, conservatism, and, and, and. So therefore, to transform this very successful company into that digital, uh, to, to, towards this digital road, 
is a real challenge. Of course, we have to change internally a lot. And I think this concept of partner of life, being a digital partner of life, allows us to provide services to our customers that we could not afford to provide uh, in the past. Therefore, we have to uh, allocate and to tailor and to design our products and services according to the components of uh, these digital ecosystems, be it the devices, be it the smartphones, the tablets, and so on. I think that is exactly the way that in the future the customers and the consumers will interact with us in terms of selling or uh, buying our uh, uh, products, but of course receiving the service and the service components. Uh, that has a tremendous impact also in the internal organization. We have to adopt our uh, internal structures and our internal platforms exactly according to that. And that is not only an IT problem. Definitely, this is, of course, also an IT problem because we have to integrate mobiles, smartphones, tablets, and so on, web, web into our value chains. But we have also to change the way how we are providing these services, how we design the products. And of course, we have uh, to modify the way how our distribution force is uh, currently or is currently working together uh, with uh, our customers. That's the internal challenge. Just focusing internally uh, on this, uh, focusing internally on this challenge would be not enough. We know that we have to integrate, and we had that already done in the past, these smartphones, these tablets. We have to build uh, value chains and customer journeys based on big data. We have to uh, integrate the digital analytics capability. And as you can all imagine, digital analytics plays an outstanding and very important role for the future development of our services uh, and uh, for the development of our services and the shaping uh, of the pricing and the delivering of that. And of course, it will be based on cloud. If we look at these five uh, components, cloud, uh, big data, sensors, devices, and all these tablets that are interacting with us, then it's obvious that we need partners. And that is the uh, page uh, that you see here as my last uh, slide. It's fast from, uh, for ut of utmost importance that we are not internally focusing only on these topics. We have also to partner with new elements in these digital ecosystems. And there we believe, and we are totally confident, uh, that that will happen based on the positive experiences that we have also received so far, that this will help us to, to or will help us and complement uh, the internal uh, efforts. To do that, we have uh, more or less uh, established three uh, major pillars, how to interact and how to cooperate with uh, entrepreneurs, with digital entrepreneurs, and uh, we call it digital accelerator, digital corporate ventures, and digital, uh, digital strategic partnerships. How do we want to do that? A short description, digital accelerator, there we want to partner with new startups. We want to get in contact with, incubate, with incubators, with new ideas, how uh, the future could look like. And I think we have also there, here uh, at this uh, event, uh, at, uh, a stand where you can uh, really partner and get in contact with our colleagues of the Digital Accelerator. For us, it's important uh, that we have this uh, entity because now after one and a half year uh, of working with this uh, uh, Digital Accelerator, we can truly state that we have received a lot of fresh ideas, of new ideas, and this will help us definitely to change and to, to change our, the way how we do the business and to integrate uh, new ideas in our value chain. The second uh, pillar, or the second way how we want to integrate, how, how, we, how we want to integrate the digital entrepreneurs uh, into our value chain is the what we call digital corporate ventures. There we want to partner with, in an early stage of investment, with new companies 
that are allocated, what we call FinTech, connected car, connected home, big data area. And there, we really want to be, be a partner, help those as already established companies to develop their business model, to develop their ideas, and get in contact uh, to us. Because what we see there is, of course, all also a second source of additional ideas, of additional uh, contribution to our value chain. And it's not only the internal value chain, it's of course also the way how we do the business, how we sell the products, how we design uh, the topics there and so on. This is called Digital Corporate Ventures. If you want, this is an investment fund where we really focus our investments in this area. And the third uh, uh, pillar we, uh, is called Digital Strategic Partnerships. Uh, digital uh, Strategic Partnerships, there we partner with already established companies. For instance, uh, examples, we have a lot of examples, for instance, in the digital health area, uh, where we partner with really established partners that, are de that have developed, for instance, devices, sensors, that are used in this digital health or well-being area. And of course, we want them to, to uh, combine it and to integrate it, uh, developments and new steps into our value chain. Why do we not develop that on our own? That is obvious. We don't want to develop these sensors or the connectors to the digital ecosystems. Therefore, we need these partnerships. We are the top specialists in risk management and asset management, and we want to combine our internal strengths, the strengths of an asset and risk manager service model with these uh, tech partners, and I think that is uh, the, the real future uh, of this digital cooperation. So, that are the three contact points that we want to offer you. That is the reason why we decided also to be to support uh, this uh, event. I want uh, just to uh, remember that or to remind you: digital accelerator, corporate uh, 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 digital corporate ventures, and digital strategic partnerships. The first addressing the small. Uh, the new incumbents, the second one, already established uh, companies. There we help with strategic uh, uh, stage investments. And the third is the partnership with really established uh, companies. With that, we believe that we can truly transform our digital ecosystems internally and mirror the development of the digital ecosystems, be it at home, be it at car, in the life, the enterprise of our customers. So, with that, thank you very much for your intention, and thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please keep us in good memory. You do? Christoph. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Christoph Marshall, meine Damen und Herren.